Hi there, Jason Carter here. Welcome to my first episode of 12 to 23, a series of films where I'm going to document the process of getting to know a new harp guitar. So my previous harp guitar was a 12 string instrument with six bass strings and six guitar strings. This new one has got seven bass strings, six guitar strings and 10 lovely high treble strings. Instead of hiding away and composing something new and, and churning out a slick music video in six to eight weeks time, which I was thinking of doing, I've decided to do something different. Instead of doing that, I'm going to document the process of getting to know the guitar and also sharing some of the composition ideas and how those things are glued together, how I create them. And in, and in essence, you're gonna see the joys and the pains and struggles of the process. Um, it'll be helpful for me uh, in terms of recording and documenting it um, and hopefully interesting for you too. I think we're all a bit sick of, of the sheen and the perfection that's projected on social media. I, for one, am, I'm sick of it. And I'm looking for something more human and more, more fragile and more vulnerable. And so this is my contribution to that process. Um, so a new Sean Woolley harp guitar, picked it up two weeks ago. Um, it's still quite fresh. The guitar is still waking up. Um, I'm in the process of trying different strings. And today I've got two capos a capo on the second fret in, in a dad gad tuning, D-A-D-G-A-D, -A -D -G -A -D, and then I got another capo and sawed it in half um, to make a half capo. Now you can buy half capos, but not for classical guitars because the neck is flat, it's straight, whereas steel string guitars are a little bit um, um, curved. So it's all new. Um, and this is a new idea that I've been playing with since I've got the guitar. I'm still trying to find the right motifs. Um, so it's absolutely not settled at all. Some mech sections have found their place and I'm not sure if these sections are in the right order, um, but I'm just looking for ideas which fit together and that feel right at the moment. So this is my process of how to create something from nothing. So 12 to 23, 12 strings to 23, Let's see what happens and thank you in advance for watching and listening.
done the motif earlier which really worked with there and it was really fluid, fluid and I just forgot it. So it's really important that I film these things. Anyway, let's go back to the beginning. So well basically that's the idea. Um, and eventually it will find its place. It takes a lot of sitting and playing and finding the right notes, the right tunings and the trebles um, and finding what this guitar does and how it best suits me basically and learning how to compose for it. Um, my muscle memory is very good, so once I find a motif, my muscles will remember it quickly. Um, and right in this piece, as you could see or hear, there were some counteractive rhythms, some syncopated rhythms, which were um, my right hand was playing in 4-4, in four, four, left hand playing in 3-4, 5-4, 6-4 at certain times. And this section here, earlier, I had it really, really strong, and suddenly it's gone. And so I'm sure in the next episode that will come back, and you'll see the development of the piece. But thank you for watching the first episode of 12 to 23, Jason Carter trying to get to grips with a new harp guitar. Thanks very much.